Hey guys, it's Jason here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the video. Today we're going to be checking out the Genzase IMRS D300 charger. This is an AC-DC charger, 300 watts total on AC and 700 watts total on DC. The focus of this video is going to be mainly on AC. We're going to be seeing what this charger will do, what it can charge. I've got a few batteries set up, so I've got the new GTEC battery right here. So this is a 2S 5200 milliamp G technology battery. Now we're going to be going over this guys in the video, but I'm just going to kind of put this out here. It's a bit of a spoiler alert. Gen's Ace did this right. You can see that the technology is right here. The chip is built into the balance port. It has nothing to do with the main connector, which means you'll be able to change this connector to an XT90, EC5, EC3, Deans, whatever you want to do, and still use the GTEC because everything is built into the balance port. I really, really liked that they did this. You can tell that Genzace is a battery company and a charger company, not a truck, car, plane, drone company first. So I really, really like that they did this because again, guys, I use a few different connectors on some of my trucks. And the last thing I hate is when I get stuck with a certain plug. The last thing I would want is that. So what I've got is I have a pair of 3S Genzase 6000 milliamp batteries, 100C. I've got a 6800 6S, a 4000 6S. I've got my pair of 7500 4S high voltage packs. These are the red line packs. So what we're going to do is we'll probably start guys with the 3S. So what we'll do is we'll get them connected to the charger and we're going to set it up, set it to charge 3S at 6 amps, again, running on AC power. And we're just going to see guys how it'll do. The biggest thing with chargers when it comes to your amps and your watts and charging is even though a charger can say it does 10 amps, 16 amps, 30 amps, you need to have the power. Now, again, because I'm talking guys today about fo I'm, I'm focusing on AC, which means if you get this charger right out of the box, you plug it into the wall, you don't have a separate power supply. We want to know what it can charge. I can go through a lot of specs and all that kind of fun stuff, but to me, I think it's more important to know that when you get this charger and you plug it in, how's it going to do? So again, we're going to start off with, you know what, actually guys, I'm going to set up the tripod and what we're going to do is we're going to first focus on the GTEC because honestly guys, they, like I mentioned, they really did this right. All right, before we get into the battery, I just wanted to quickly cover what comes with the charger. So when you get the charger out of the box, you get the charger, you get your AC cable, you get a manual, you do get a USB cable, a USB type A cable. You can use that for either charging up a device, charging up some type of peripheral, or you can also be used, guys, if you ever need to do like a firmware update, uh, which I'm assuming maybe at some point they will have type thing. So you are able to update this charger if need be. But what I wanted just to quickly go over, because I did make a few changes to the cables that are included. The charger comes with six kind of pre-wired connectors. Now, these two right here, I want you sort of to ignore because the charger comes with two XT60 to EC5s. It comes with two XT60 to Deans and two XT60s to EC3s. Now you can see on the charger over here that it uses an XT60 port. So batteries like, for example, guys, this GTEC will plug directly into the charger. So if you've got XT60 connectors on batteries, you'll be able to plug those directly into the charger. Now I left the EC5 ones alone because I use these connectors on a lot of batteries. However, I don't use the Deans or the EC3 all that much. What I do use is XT90s. So what I did was I took one of my EC3s and one of my Deans and I switched them over to the XT90 connectors because again, I have a lot of batteries. I've been kind of slowly swapping my batteries over to the XT90. I really like these connectors. I like that they have the kind of uh, anti-spark connector on the batteries and stuff like that if you buy this, that connector. So again, the XT90s do not come with the charger. You get the EC5s, EC3s, and the Deans. But, I mean, hey, it only takes a few minutes to swap over to XT90s or any other connector you might use. All right, guys. So, like I mentioned during the video earlier, all the technology is in the balance port. So, you can see right here, you've got your normal kind of balance plug right here. And then you've got this little connector right here. Now, that connector right there will made up to right here. You can see beside, this is where you you plug in your balance connector or a balance board if you had a 6S balance board or something. But you can see right there, you got that connector. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys right now how this is all going to work. So we're going to start with the XT60 connector. We're going to plug that in. Then you come over. 
grab your balance plug. You can see right there, charger started up. So it's reading a LiPo 2S, 5200 milliamp. It's switched over now. You can see the voltage of each cell and it's already started charging. I like that because really, you know, we're plugging batteries into chargers to start charging them. Now, the only time you would want to change this, you could just stop this right now is if let's say you were going to a storage setting or you were discharging or something like that. But I would guess that probably 95% of the time that you plug a battery into a charger, you're plugging it in to charge it. So the charger goes back to basically it's showing you channel A, channel B. Now, if we hit the channel button, we go into channel A, you'll see that GTEC is lit up right here. That's lit up because we are using a GTEC battery. You can see we're charging at 5.2 amps. That's 1C. You can see you got your little gauge here telling us we've got 19 minutes left. You can see the voltages per cell. Now, the charger defaults to a 1C charge rate. So for those that don't know, if you have a 5,000 milliamp battery, that'll be 5 amps. You have a 5,200, that'll be 5.2. If you have a 6,000, that would be 6 amps. 8,000, it would be 8 amps. I am a firm believer in 1C charge rates. I don't care what a battery says. Some batteries will have a 1 to 2, some even have 1 to 3. I think I even remember one time having a battery that you could charge at 5C, which is just incredibly high because on something like this guys it would be 5.2 times 5 which is what 25 26 i think 26 amps personally guys i have been doing 1c forever and i will continue to charge at 1c it's the safest way for batteries again i don't care what a battery says i stick to the 1c and you know what? As long as you're gauging your time properly, you'll be so good to go. That is it, guys, kind of for the GTEC. Basically, it's a smart way to charge your batteries. You'll be able to see everything on the charger. So again, if we went into channel A, you can see your volts per cell. They got a few more features. You can see the GTEC lit up here, the size of the battery, the amps you're charging at, your actual 2S, it's a LiPo, all that kind of fun stuff. What I want to do now is I am going to stop charging this one and I'm going to put another battery in. So a non GTEC battery so you guys can see how that works. All right, guys, the next battery I've got is a Gen Zace Adventure Series. Now this is a 3S high voltage pack. It's 4,300 milliamps. I use it in like trail trucks and crawler trucks and stuff like that just because it's a smaller size and all that kind of fun stuff. But what you can see right now is I've got the included XT60 to EC5 connector installed. I've got the battery plugged in and you can see right now my overall voltage is 11.4. But once we plug in the balance port and then we scroll over to just channel A, now you'll be able to see each individual voltage. So at this point now, what we need to do is set this up because right now this is not, there's no smart technology. There's no GTEC. There's none of that going on. So what we need to do, hold that. So you can see right now we have it on charge. Now that will balance charge, guys. You don't have to worry about going into the balance feature. As long as you've got your balance plug plugged into the charger, you'll be good to go. We're set to LiPo. What we want to do, though, is we want to go up here to LiPo. Put that up to LiPo high voltage. Now it's going to see the target voltage is 4.35 volts. Cell count is 3S. Target count is 6 amps. We're going to reduce that. To 4.3 so we've got charge high voltage it's just showing you the target voltage like i mentioned guys at 4.35 volts cell count 3s target current that's just your charge rate is going to be 4.3 for the 4300 milliamp pack go down to start task give it a little tap now you get this warning just confirming that you know that you've set the charger up to charge a lipo high voltage because you would not want to charge up a normal lipo to 4.35 volts this is though a high voltage we'll confirm that and as you can see we're going to start building so we're going to reach up to 4.3 we're at charging we're at 28 percent all right guys as i was doing that the fan kicked on so i'd kind of stopped recording there for a little bit but i thought you know what here's a good time to show you guys again the g-tech in action so not that putting your normal battery setup in is a lot of work. Make sure you're on whatever cell count you're is. Set your amps. Make sure you're on either LiPo or LiPo high voltage or life pack, whatever you're doing. But it is a few steps with the GTEC. Again, you guys just saw this, but I do want to show you guys again. You plug in the main battery connector. Then you grab your balance port. 
And just like that, you plug it in. You're gonna see it's gonna switch to channel B and it's already started charging. I think guys, that is, is actually really cool. It's definitely something that I don't see as a gimmick. I like the fact that I will simply just come in, plug in a connector, plug in the balance port and I'm off and running. So now you can see we've got GTEC lit up there. If we go back to channel A, there's no GTEC. It shows us kind of like how much we filled to the battery. So you can see right now we're at 42%. But if we go over to channel B, it actually has the gauge, but then it still shows us now how much time is remaining, shows us our amps, and you've got the GTEC lit up there at the top. So again, guys, I don't see this as a gimmick or anything. I think this is a fantastic idea. I think Gen's Ace did a really good job of again like i've mentioned multiple time guys integrating all the technology into the balance parts so that we can do whatever we want with our battery connector all right guys as i was doing that the fan kicked on so i'd kind of stopped recording there for a little bit but i thought you know what here's a good time to show you guys again the g-tech in action so not that putting your normal battery setup in is a lot of work make sure you're on whatever cell count you're is set your amps Make sure you're on either LiPo or LiPo High Voltage or Life Pack, whatever you're doing. But it is a few steps with the G-Tech. Again, you guys just saw this, but I do want to show you guys again. You plug in the main battery connector. Then you grab your balance port. And just like that, you plug it in. You're going to see it's going to switch to channel B. And it's already started charging. I think guys that is is actually really cool it's definitely something that I don't see as a gimmick I like the fact that I will simply just come in plug in a connector plug in the balance port and I'm off and running so now you can see we've got GTEC lit up there if we go back to channel A there's no GTEC it shows us kind of like how much we filled to the battery so you can see right now we're at 42 percent but if we go over to channel B it actually has the gauge, but then it still shows us now how much time is remaining, shows us our amps, and you've got the GTEC lit up there at the top. So again, guys, I don't see this as a gimmick or anything. I think this is a fantastic idea. I think Gen's Ace did a really good job of, again, like I've mentioned multiple times, guys, integrating all the technology into the balance parts so that we can do whatever we want with our, balance, our battery connector. All right, so we've gone over now charging up a GTEC battery. We've gone over setting up the charger to charge a normal LiPo or a high voltage LiPo. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna start testing the AC power of the charger. So like I mentioned, guys, you can run DC, you can run a separate power supply, upwards of 700 watts, but we wanna test the built-in power supply, so the included power supply. So what I've got here is two Gen Z LiPos, both are 3S, both are 6,000 milliamps. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this going. So channel A, now I've already gone and set up everything. So charge, LiPo, target is 4.2, 3S, charging at six amps. Start that one. Go over to channel B, again, charge 4.2, 3S at six amps. We'll start that one up. Now we'll go back to the split screen, so channel A and channel B. And as you guys can see, the charger has no problem charging up two 3S bad LiPos at six amps. And again, guys, I gotta stress this because a lot of chargers today do run separate power supplies. This is just running the included internal power supply. So again, 3S batteries at six amps are not a problem. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna swap out these ones for the two 4S LiPos. All right, guys, just like last time, I went ahead and got everything connected up. The only thing I have to do this time is go in, go to battery type, put it up to high voltage, go back, go over to channel B. Where So I did realize, guys, is when you change on the channel A bank, it will switch it over here. So you can see that now on the channel B setting, it's already bumped it up to the high voltage cells. So we've got 4S, we've got 7.5. So what we're going to do... Again, the warning. We'll let that one start. Go into channel B. We'll start this up. Get the warning. That'll start. Now, as you can see, channel A is climbing. And we've reached the 7.5 for the 4SL, no problem. Because the power supply is split, this is also gonna reach 7.5. So as you can see, guys, 
running off AC power, you'll have no problem charging two 4S LiPos. Again, these are 7,500 milliamps, so you're charging at 7.5 amps. So yeah, that's good. Next, guys, what I wanna do is actually try my 6S batteries. Now, I know from experience that a 6S, especially a 1,600 milliamp, does require more than 150 watts to charge it, but we're gonna see where it goes anyways. All right, guys, for this test, we've got the 4,000 milliamp 6S pack and a 6,800 milliamp 6S pack. So this will be charging at four amps. This one will be charging at 6.8. In my opinion, guys, and based on kind of experience, I think the charger is not gonna have any problem at all charging this 6S pack at four amps. However, this 6S pack at 6,800 milliamps, so 6.8 amps, I'm, I'm not sure if 150 watts is gonna charge it. I think it's gonna get fairly close. It'll at least reach six amp is my guess. But either way, what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this up now. We're gonna go into channel A. So charge LiPo 4.26S, change this to four amps. Now I did notice something guys, when you are working with the charger, when you're setting up your channel A and channel B, whatever you do in channel A will mirror over to channel B. So what you need to do is set up your channel A first if you're using different size batteries. So LiPo 4.26S, four amps, we're gonna start charging. We're gonna get that going. Now you're gonna see when I go into channel B and I go into channel B settings, you can see how the target current is four amps. Now I did set that to 6.8, but it changes. It kind of mirrors whatever you do on the, whatever cell you're kind of working on, it sort of mirrors it to the other one, to the other side. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go in here. Hopefully you guys can hear me with the fan. Go to 6.8, so charge, LiPo 4.2, 6S at 6.8 amps. We're gonna start this one up. So now if we go back here, you can see channel A, 6S pack charging at four amps. So we're good to go. Now we're gonna go over to the channel B side. And again, guys, this we're aiming for 6.8 amps. We've already hit five, we've already hit six, 6.5, 6.6. So we are almost, guys, good to go. 6.5, 6.6, when we're hit, trying to hit 6.8, that's pretty decent. That might slow your charge down by a few minutes or something like that. So that is no big deal whatsoever. All right, guys, there you have it. The Genzase iMars D300. So I got to say this, guys. I'm a huge fan of this technology. Having the technology built into the balance port, I'm excited now for Genzase to release more batteries with this technology. It's very simple to use. It's very, very quick. It also, guys, in a way, kind of does reduce the chance of an incorrect setting, accidentally applying too much amps to the battery or going LiPo versus high voltage, cell count, all that kind of fun stuff. I really, really like it. And I'm excited for Gen Zays to be releasing more batteries, getting into the 3S, the 4S, and hopefully into 6S batteries as well. The other side of this video, guys, was mainly testing the included, the internal power supply of the charger. And we got through the 3S batteries, no problem. We got through those big 4S 7500 milliamp batteries, no problem, the high voltage ones. And the 4000 6S was fine. It wasn't until we got to that big 1600 milliamp 6S pack that it almost reached, it just didn't quite make it to the 6.8 amps. But again, guys, that's using the internal power supply. So the fact that you can pick this charger up, plug it in to any wall outlet, you don't have to worry about a power supply or anything like that and charge what we charge today, I think guys is awesome. And I'm very, very impressed. I will guys probably do a part two of this video in a while if later on, it won't be anytime soon, kind of going into some of the more advanced features. But in my opinion, guys, when it comes to a charger, all I wanna know is, is the battery gonna charge my batteries? Is it gonna charge 2S, 3S, 4S, 6S, high voltage, all that kind of fun stuff. And you know what you guys saw today, this battery can pretty much handle, this battery charger, sorry, can pretty much handle anything. Again, that is with the included power supply. Big thanks to Genzase for sending me out this charger for me to test out. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, give me a big thumbs up. Please subscribe. Have a great day.